Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. We got a viewer writing in and he needs some suggestions, some help with choosing a DSLR. We have Faison, Faison. I hope I'm saying that right. I am not very good with names. I am not an international speaker. <laughs> he says, hi, I'm trying to do lots of research about which DSLR I should buy as I am a photography student in the first semester and I'm a beginner, so I want to get a good DSLR uh, rather than only a basic beginner DSLR. I'm leaning towards the Canon 80D, but if I couldn't spend that much money, then I looked at either the Nikon D5600 or he has here the Canon D7200, but I think you mean the Nikon D7200, or the Canon T7i. I've heard that if I want to use bigger lenses, then I should get the 77D instead of the T7i after watching Chris Winter's YouTube video. I wanted to know if I don't get the Canon 80D, then what is the best affordable DSLR I should get? The camera should have raw image files, 24 megapixels, image stabilization, which I believe all these DSLRs have. But just mentioning here, these things are required for my photography class. Please help. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you so much in advance, Faison. Thank you for your question. And I've made some notes here. Um, first of all, I just want to point out um, none of those DSLRs have image stabilization built in, with the exception of um, the... Um, actually, none of the ones you've listed, I believe, have it. Um, the M50, which is going to be one of my recommendations, it has a kind of gimmicky software type IS, but basically all the cameras we're looking at rely on lens-based image stabilization, which there's nothing wrong with. You've still got image stabilization. All the kit lenses are coming with an IS lens, so it's still there for you. Um, so what I've narrowed it down to is um, three options. Uh, the ADD is still a solid option. But I would take a good hard look at the M50 and the SL2. The SL2 is your budget option. If you can't afford, if, if the ADD might be too expensive, then perhaps the M50 is. Although I think the M50 may even be less expensive than the ADD right now. The SL2 gives you everything that's good about the ADD in a smaller and lighter package. The only caveat is it may not have quite as strong an autofocus system, but I didn't find that to be an issue. And if you're, you know, the way most people shoot is a center point refocus, recompose uh, method, which I shoot a lot that way, almost always. The SL2 was fantastic. Loved that camera. Small, light, great vlogging camera, great video camera, dual pixel autofocus, latest and greatest 24 megapixel APS-C sensor from Canon, great IQ. Just love that camera. For the price, I think it's a heck of a sleeper. It's probably the best value DSLR out there right now, especially for, essentially from Canon it is. However, if you're looking at that you might be able to afford the ADD, then I would seriously look at the M50 because it gives you pretty much everything the ADD has to offer, but with the addition of a 4K video option, um, and that's huge. It gives you uh, the newest, most advanced version, it's the latest one anyways, of dual pixel autofocus. It gives you the same 24 megapixel sensor, and it may even be a little bit better in performance if we look at, you know, essentially it'll be the same, but it may on paper perform a little better. It's the newest camera. Um, I would myself, out of those three, get the M50. I've got it in now for review. I'm loving it. Not only that, it's a cool looking camera. It looks cooler than the SL2 and the ADD. I don't buy cameras just on looks, but it is an added bonus. So the M50 is the way I would go if you can swing it. It's got all the goodness and more because it's actually, it'll shoot at 10 frames per second. It's mirrorless camera. If you look at it as simply an 80, uh, 1080 camera, it's still as good or better than the ADD or the SL2, but it also does have the ability to shoot 4K, which despite some limitations like the 2.56 times crop factor, um, and the not, inability to use dual pixel autofocus in 4K, you still got 4K. And there's still a lot of things you can do with that. Uh, and then you can drop down to 1080 and you got dual pixel autofocus. And from what I'm hearing, I haven't done my own tests yet on it, but from what I'm hearing, perhaps a better 1080 than anything else out there in APS-C right now from Canon. So that's what I would do. If you can't afford the M50, then I would look at the SL2. The SL2 is a great option. But if you can afford the M50, that's where I would go if I was you. Throw it back to our viewers. What would you guys do? Do you agree with me? With Canon's current offering, is that what you would do? Is go with an M50 like I would? Or do you think he should go with the SL2? Maybe spend a bit more on lenses. Do you think he still should look at the ADD above all of them? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Faison. Let's flush it out for him here. Always great to have your feedback. Sometimes you have thoughts, suggestions, things I hadn't touched on that help our viewers, um, you know, just get a more rounded picture of or, or thought process on what they're going to buy. 
So uh, thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.